Oh yeah. So I know I get this question a lot and I might as well just share with you how this works. Now for my PS Vita connection, it's a simple Let me turn these puppies off and put them away. Now with the PS Vita, I whoops, that's the wrong thing. With the PS Vita, I have a plugin enabled. Let's go like this. And we're going to go like that. Perfect. So with the PS Vita, there is a plugin that I have enabled. And it it streams the screen from my PS Vita to the PC. And you have to use uh, OBS or some kind of streaming uh, application for it. So... All I have to do now that the plugin is running and the, the console is up and running, ready to go, all I have to do is just plug it in. So I'm using a micro USB cable. Plug it in on the top here. And here we go. So it's now, here I'll go like this. So that thing is plugged in. We're going to disable this camera. And we're going to disable the Elgato. And we're going to connect to the PS Vita. There we go. And you see? Simple and easy. It's awesome. I love it. So yeah, that is as simple as that. And then I grab my uh, PS PS4 controller. See, so here's my PS4 controller. I'm going to press the PS button and it should automatically connect to my PS Vita. Not unless I have it disabled, which I think I do. So yeah, I do have the Bluetooth feature disabled. We enable that, get out of there. And now it's connected. Look at that. That isn't that awesome. Whoops, not that one. Let's do this one. So yeah, look at that. I'm changing the screen without even. It's pretty badass. So that's that's how I've been getting away with uh, streaming stuff, making my videos. So I kind of I worked my way around a lot of obstacles <laughs> that would prevent me from streaming or making content. I wanted to make crispy content for you guys. It's called the UDCD underscore UVC LCD by Zerpy version 1.7. So it says stream your Vita screen to your PC over USB with the screen off, which the official plugin is not able to do. So this is your official one. And this will work with any PS Vita as long as it's jailbroken. It can work on any firmware and you can run it on your PC and, and through OBS and you're good to go. And you're all done there. That's how I was uh, running it. Dave, David. Sorry for the live with Goku. Less small talks is how do you get rid of the static sounds of streaming? I've tried with OBS, Streamlabs, and QuickTime and it doesn't work. All right. I will answer your question. This is the second question I have today. All right, so in order for you to disable that static sound that you get from the PS Vita, and I'm not sure where this sound comes from, but this sound, it's it's very annoying, and I get it, and I've been trying to diagnose that for, for a long time, ever since I started doing the PS Vita content. Now, using a cable is not going to work. You don't want to use a cable. You do not want to mess with any of that because there's just too much. There's something going on with the PC or or the Vita. And I think it's more of the PC that so much is going on that you will hear that staticky sound. The best way to resolve this issue is with this amazing tool. And I've already talked about it in a separate video. Now, you want to use this amazing, look at this thing. So this is a little Bluetooth device that plugs into your mic line in or line in. 
and this is what you want to use guys and I'm going to do that today right now and show you how it works so you do have to charge it right there you have to charge it using the micro USB cable it takes about like two to three hours to charge and once it's charged you want to turn it on by pressing this button and then you'll see these lights flash right and once it flashes to a steady blue that means it's connected right now it's still not reading any devices so I'm going to now connect it onto my line in there it is line in perfect let's hit OK go to the mainstream low battery then we're gonna go into our settings and we have to let's go to devices Bluetooth devices and there's the device connect Connecting. now we're connected oh damn that thing was blasted sorry guys holy hell that thing was loud my bad guys let me go into um i'll go into this one whatever it's just something simple then kingdom hearts one uh is that not too much Even that's too much. It's my headset's about to die anyways, or not my headset, but the Bluetooth device is about to die. So I'm just going to turn that off, but that's the best way to do it. I don't find any issues with the Bluetooth device. So I hope that was helpful for some people. I know there was a couple people that asked that question. Uh, happy to answer that now if you can't afford a PSTV this is the best way to do it just download the plug-in get yourself a USB device like this you know get yourself a PS4 controller hook it up and you're on your way to success just like me <laughs> you're on your way to playing on your PC or whatever the hell you want to play it on <laughs>